Good day. Uh, I thought we'd have a look at uh, Vocom Pro voice training. Uh, sort of, you know, sounds reasonably intuitive that you're going to have to train the thing to recognise your voice, but um, there's a really good built-in function in Vocom Pro to training your uh, your voice, not just relying on the Windows uh, voice recognition training. So we'll just have a look at that today. Um, I recommend doing it. Certainly all the commands that you use regularly, you should be voice training them. And um, if you've got time, just work your way through the whole database. So I'll just uh, section out my desktop and we'll start back on Pro. Right, and we're just waiting for it to initialize again. No new modules. And it should be initialized very shortly. There we go. Listening suspended. Startup's finished, ready for commands. Plug in Bicom Pro 2.5. Initialized. Right, I'll just, um, to make it easy, we'll bring up uh, voice attack over here, and we'll move it up there just to make it a bit bigger. And we also now need to bring up the configuration menu. So Control Alt C, or if you've got a voice command, configuration. There we go, and it's up. So we've got our configuration panel and the voice training is located in the editor, which makes sense because that's where all your keywords are. So I know my keywords database is up to date with my profile. I've got 10, 21 commands in there. And this start keywords training mode, that's the key. So the first thing we want to do is have a look at our keywords database. We've got a lot of action here, which are all my F10 imports. You know, words like AAA, bought inbound, bought refuel. So we'll just use these standard ones at the top and um, just run through how you run the tr keywords training. So I find it easier if you just select one of the words from here, like AAA, and just leave it like that. Start your keyword training. You'll see offload keywords initialize, ready for training. Now you no longer have to use your push to talk, so that's not required anymore. What does pop up is your Windows voice recognition mic. Now it's off at the moment, so we're not going to be able to do any keywords training. So all we need to do is turn it on and start running through these. Now I find it easier to use the uh, down arrow and just keep running down and just keep repeating the phrase until you get a reasonable level of recognition up here. So let's start it up. It says it's listening. Triple A. Triple A. Now I've stopped it so we can talk. You can see keyword recognized triple A with confidence 88% and then 75%. That's because I've trained it before and it knows what it's looking for. Now there's three aliases in there and I can train all the aliases if I want. So let's do that. Air defense. Air Defence. Sam. 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 Righto. So that's how you do it. And I find it easy if it's highlighted that. I just use the key to drop down to the next one. And you just keep dropping down and training them all. Abort refuel. Abort refuel. Abort refuel. 
Abort startup. Abort startup. And that's it. That's all there is to keyword um, training. So we're just training the Windows speech recognition system from within Vocom Pro's config menu to recognize the words we're using with Vocom Pro. Very simple, definitely worth doing. Um, the more time you invest in this, the stronger your confidence levels are going to be when recognizing your keywords and you're not going to have commands missed while you're flying around with your head on a swivel trying to shoot a bandit down and screaming into the mic because your wingman's doing nothing. So um, I trust you enjoyed it. Uh, hope you got, hopefully you got something out of it. And um, thanks for listening. <laughs>